Hey guys, this is Alex. I have a 2004 BMW 545i. I think I have a water pump, a water pump problem. Leaking water from the water pump. So I ordered a new water pump in the morning tomorrow. Licking water. So anyway, I never did this job before. I never replaced the water pump before, so I'm gonna... This is gonna be the first time I'm gonna do it. So... So I'm gonna... First, I'm gonna remove the... Uh, the air intake filter and the housing. And after... Uh, I'm gonna take out the belt and take out the pipes from the thermostat, sensors, EDC. So anyway, I'm gonna be recording small parts of the my uh, of the my uh, of the my job. So you need these tools for the job. So this is a 27 mm this is for the big uh, crank pulley that's for the uh, this guy is gonna have to remove the AC belt this is a 22 mm this one is for the, uh, the sensor from the thermostat and, uh, this is a T45, this is for the crank pulley to remove it, the bottom one. And, uh, oops. And this is the T55. And this is for the uh, belt tensioner. Alright guys, let's do it. Alright, so uh, the air filter box is off. And I also took off the... Uh, the wires for the sensors from there. The other one is hiding there. Okay, so just try to organize the my wires here. All right, so so this guy is on the way. I, I'm pretty sure this is for the. Uh, I think this is the AC. So I don't want to touch it. I don't think I can move it. Because I don't want to break it, right? So, but it's gonna be definitely in the way. So I'm just gonna lose these guys, these hoses, and slowly take them off. Those two for now. And uh, also the serpentine belt is off with my T55, but uh, the T55 is kind of loose for. Uh, as you can see, there is a play. I still was able to do it, but maybe, maybe this guy needs a T60. I'm pretty sure T60 is gonna, it's gonna be work much better. Anyway, T55 was also working. So, serpentine belt is off. I still have the AC belt on. So, all right. So, let's do this. Alright, so I removed the, the hoses, they was coming out pretty easy, so all you need to do is just lose these clips here, both of them, both big guy, this one I pushed it back by accident, it's all good, and you know, just keep them upward, because they, they still have coolant inside, right, so I try to save as much coolant I can, a lot of coolant actually came out on the floor, but what can I do? 
So anyway, the pulley, this was uh, li really like stuck on the water pump, the water pump pulley. So I, I hit it uh, a hammer a little bit, you know, but still. So it came out, but so here you go. But as you can see, it, I damaged that. So I, by accident, I hit it on the on the edge, and it's broken. So, so I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna use this pulley anymore. I'm just gonna buy a new one, and I don't think it's gonna cost a lot, maybe 20 bucks. But still, you know, um, when you get to the pulley, just be gentle. Uh, rather just try to pull it off than uh, hit it so try not to hit it or even if you hit it just use a rubber hammer or something um, so anyway I pay for my mistake so it's off so now I'm gonna try to get to the bolts but since this 545i it's so tiny I have a tiny space here not like the 745 so anyway um, so anyway, I'm gonna get to the bolts. I, I believe there is a five, uh, ten millimeter bolt holding this water pump. And, uh, so we'll see how it goes. All right. All right. So I have the, my uh, torque wrench with the number twenty-seven uh, socket on it. So I'm, I'm gonna remove the big pulley so this is not the way to remove it uh, the, uh, the reason why I put that there because I, I'm just gonna crank it you see I'm just, I'm just gonna crank this and uh, so that way I can remove the uh, AC belt from the AC and there's other bolts So those are T45s, I mean you need a T45 socket and there is 8 bolts, so after I remove that I can remove the big pulley. So the reason I am removing the big pulley over there because the water pump has one number 10, 10 bolt. So there is one bolt hiding behind it and uh, I just can't get to it. I have to remove the pulley. So after I remove that, I can get to all the all the bolts uh, for the water pump down downstairs, down below. So that way, I can remove the water pump itself. All right, guys, let's do this. All right, so the the pulley is out. It was nothing but pain in the ass. You know the eight bolts. T45s. So thank God I didn't snap any of it. I didn't snap any of them. They're pretty good. So here's the, the big pulley. So, so when you take it off, this guy is gonna fall out because uh, this guy is right between the uh, um, the engine pulley and the extender pulley. So this guy. This is the your main pulley. So now I, uh, I have access to the all the water pump bolts on the, below there, and uh, still I don't see them uh, because this fan here. I have a small, tiny space, but uh, I'm gonna make it. Just didn't want to take out the fan because that also takes a lot of time, and just I just don't want to do that. Alright, so next stuff, uh, next step, I'm gonna remove the, the water pump itself. Okay, so I got to do my last pipe, and that, that pipe was hidden right here. I'm uh, just trying to show you. You see that little hole still? So this pipe was attached there, and the clip. Alright, so the clip. Um, it opens inside. So that way, it's so much pain in the ass. 
but I got to it and I got to do my fifth bolt. So I have all the bolts there. Here's my thermostat. So I have to take out the thermostat to the, get to this pipe. So, wow. This one is a 545, it's so much harder than even a 745 or uh, 750, 550 because they are a little bit bigger space or something, I don't know. So anyway, here you go, water pump comes out. Uh, just one hand. Right. Look at it. Yeah, I still have my sensors in. See the other one. Um, anyway, it's all good. So this pump actually looking good. Inside. There we go. This was the uh, gasket. Yeah, the gasket a little bit. It looks melted, but it's still looking good. This camera doesn't pick up very good. Sorry about the quality. So anyway, um, so when I first find out the leak, it was coming from here, from this hole, but this hole just doesn't do anything here. So I don't get it. So I don't know why it was leaking from there. I just don't know. So anyway, um, yeah, it was a plastic one. What a shame, BMW! Like you guys using plastic uh, propeller inside the vent. Yeah, I don't know what they was thinking. Anyway, I'm not sure exactly why it was leaking from here. That pump is looking good. Okay, anyway, so, so thanks for watching for the, my uh, water pump remove video, and um, I'm gonna try to make a video of uh, uh, when I install the new new water pump. Thanks for watching, guys. So that was the, my first uh, water pump removing of the, my BMW. So here is the, my new water pump. I already put it on. So. I put the brand new gasket and uh, there's a plug. I also um, applied some uh, silicone just to make sure the, the ceiling is professional. And uh, everything looks good so far. So I'm just gonna attach to my pipes, all these guys. So this case I have only three pipes so that's the little one that's right under the uh, the thermostat and there is a big guy that comes there and there is another big guy that comes this side and uh, just gonna put back everything together I think I'm gonna have fun with the the pulley the big one to put back but anyway I have plenty of time all right so Let's do it. Alright, so I, I assembled everything together. Everything is running fine. I don't see any leaks anymore. However, I'm gonna check my fluid level for a couple or few days. So I just started the car like five minutes ago and uh, I don't see any and a leak so far. Thank God. Uh, some people told me that it's gonna be the uh, big transfer fi pipe inside the engine. That's that's the one it's leaking. But it turned out that was a water pump so far because yeah, the leak. So, so 
that was my first uh, water pump replacement of um, the, my uh, 2004 BMW 545i. Um, thanks for watching guys.